restore this photo with me? Let's take a stab at it. So the first thing I always do is, let's see how fast I can do this. This is in pretty good shape. First thing I do is I'll crop it down and I crop it to eight by 10. And I think I've talked about this before. The reason I do that is because it's a good uh, standard, it's a standard size here in the US. So that's why I do that. So once I've done that, I'll make any adjustments that I need to, to brightness, contrast, that kind of thing. I'll make a stamp visible layer and that's just, it's a layer that combines everything underneath of it into a new layer. Photoshop is all layer based and this creates a new layer. And the reason I do that is because I've created an action to remove dust. And you see what I did just there? You can see it. And sometimes it makes some areas disappear. So there's a mask on this layer. And what that means is I can just come in and wherever I want to, that to not be, I can just correct it on the mask. And you can kind of see how that works. Oh, that's my notification run there. So that little dang, that's my notification. So I'm going to try to go through this fast, but not too fast because I don't want to um, make any mistakes. But now I'll come in and start cleaning it up. This one is not that dirty, so it's going to be pretty easy. There's some retouching. If you look at the face, there's some retouching on this face. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of work to get rid of that. But uh, the dust removal action that I did previously kind of gives me a head start on getting rid of some of these dust marks on here. That's why I do it. It's uh, particularly the background. You can be a little more aggressive with the background. Again, you can see on this baby's face, Look at that. Look at her eyeball. I'm saying her. I don't know. There's some kind of issue with the eyeball here. I might replicate this one over to here. But I'll do that a little later. They might have been a little aggressive with their retouching. And even though this was taken, you know, late 1800s, early 1900s, they were retouching these glass negatives back then. It's kind of the... Uh, what we have Photoshop now, they had their own way of retouching photographs and the reason they did that was because they wanted to get rid of any kind of blemishes or sometimes they wanted to make people look thinner. With the blemishes, you can see on here, here's another, this is his fingerprint. Right here, we're going to get rid of that one. I, I kept it on the other one, but we'll get rid of that one. And some of this is just stuff on the floor. But I'll get rid of things that, even if it's stuff that's on the negative, but it's not adding anything, I'll get rid of it. Because it's not adding anything, and it just looks better overall. I get pretty tight up in here so that I'm cleaning... A lot of things that a lot of people say, don't even bother to do that. Why are you bothering to do that? But I just think it's important. And so let me do a little bit of, I, I try to, what I typically do, and by the way, I save intermittently here because if my computer messes up, I don't want to lose all the work that I've done. So I will save periodically. Periodically was the word I was looking for. I don't know why I said intermittently. Periodically is what I'm looking for. So 
But you know, you can be a little more aggressive on the background because there's no intricate detail. You know, this kind of blurred out background. And again, I'm being probably super, super picky. Although I'm going fairly fast on this, but I'm still being more particular than a lot of people would do or is probably necessary, to be honest with you, because this is so zoomed in that, uh, you know, it's, it doesn't matter. By the way, I'm using the remove tool and this is such a great tool. Like if you make a circle around an area, it'll fix a whole large area all at once. And I love that. This is fairly new tool. It's probably a year old or so, but I, I, I love it. I use it a lot. It works particularly well on backgrounds, you know, kind of keeping the pattern. Okay. So that, that's pretty good. I, I, I think it's cleaned up pretty good. I'm just clean up one more thing. So I'm going to make another stamp visible layer. I'm going to save as well. And I'm going to make an adjustment on here using a plugin called Topaz AI. And what that does is it helps, and we'll see how well it does. I might have to use another tool, but it helps cleaning up the face a little bit and also adjusting the contrast brightness, that kind of thing makes it more, a little more dynamic. And I've created an action that all I got to do is press a button and it does that for me. I've already set the, uh, the parameters. So let's go get in here and see. Mm, it didn't, too, didn't do as good a job as I wanted. On this face, it did a pretty good job. I might back off on that one a little bit. I think I'll back off a little bit. And I'm going to make another stamp visible. And the reason why is there's another within Photoshop, there's a tool called restoration, photo restoration, and it has a pretty good face enhancement feature. And so the other face I'm pretty good with this one, I'm not good with, and I do have to fix that eye. I will do that probably last. I'll do that, fix the eye last. And I use the, I'll use the stamp tool to do that. So I'll just take a clone of the one eye and place it right over top of the other eye. So that did pretty good. And I'm going to, I'm going to mask this because I don't, uh, I don't, oh shoot. I'm on the wrong layer here. I'm going to mask this out and just because I was pleased with the rest of the picture. So I'm just going to use it on his face because I say he, I don't know if it's a he, I don't know if it's a he, don't yell at me. I don't know if it's a he. I'll uh, tone that down a little bit. When I say tone it down, you can adjust the opacity of the layer. So you might not want to do full strength. You might want to do just partial strength. And so you can use the mask to do that. And also you can use um, the opacity to do it too. And so here, let me see if I can get this. Okay, there you go. So I added a new layer and I used the the clone tool to clone his other eye, just the iris really. And that's a little bit dark, so I'm going to tone that down a little bit. And I will also go in here and make an adjustment on bring out some of the whites because we lost some we lost some values in the whites so I'll just bring that back a little bit and actually I'll t I'll just scale that back a little bit on the opacity so it's not as vivid so this is right here is the before here's the after what do you think